this isn't going to be a video about how to adjust the settings on your printer because I'm sure there's a million ways to do that. But everybody has these issues where you know you'll print something, walk away for a day, and then come back and it's a crap print. Hey everyone, so this video really doesn't have to do anything with biotech, but I guess it has something to do with DIY because you know 3D printing and stuff. I've got a Dremel 3D45. It's a pretty good 3D printer, but the filament that I've gotten recently is kind of crap. So I've had to adjust the settings and had some issues. So this is a 24 hour print. You know, it's pretty big. Uh, so it's pretty upsetting when you get small defects like this. This is a product that I'm making for people, so I want these to look pretty good. Uh, so having this defect really hurts on a print that takes so much time and takes, you know, a quarter of a spool of filament, about 250 grams here. So this print right here had the exact same issue and you can see it looks pretty good. It's fixed now. So I like this technique that I've developed because it requires only a couple of tools that you probably already have. So the first one is some sort of clamp. This one's a little rusty, but it's fine. Any sort of woodworking clamp like this will work or, or a vise or something like that. You'll either need a heat gun like this. This is what I would recommend or a torch like this. This is just a little uh, butane torch. You do risk burning your parts if you use something like this. It requires a little bit more finesse. That's why I like to use Big Daddy Heat Gun. So honestly, if you've seen these components, you probably know what's gonna happen. Uh, and it's surprising how well it works. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our messed up part here. We're gonna clamp it down. So you can see this hasn't fixed the issue yet. All this does is push it in the direction that we want to go. So now I'm gonna take my heat gun, this one has two settings. It has a lower setting and a higher setting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the higher setting to just heat this area. And this requires a, a little bit of finesse, you know, because what you want to happen is you want the plastic here in this crevice to melt and actually seal these two pieces together. But at the same time, you want all of the plastic around here to be warm enough to bend but not warm enough to melt and create a dent. Let me show you what happens if you heat it up too much. So this is a pretty good representation of what my head looks like. You know, pretty dented in. Uh, and this is caused by me not knowing what I'm doing. But you can see that this crevice here is basically gone. It looks way better. You just have a little hole in the head. So, you know, if you're if you're good with this or if you have a really high infill, this probably isn't gonna happen. This was my first attempt at this and it worked out, you know, pretty well for fixing this issue here. So hopefully I can get a really cool shot here of this happening in sped up time. Okay, so hopefully that looked as cool as I wanted it to. But you can see it's done a, a pretty good job already, especially on this side. I might heat this side a little bit more. Okay, so I think this looks pretty good. This, I'm pretty happy with this. You know, it's it's pretty sealed. So that, you know, it is going to improve sort of the structural component as well as the aesthetic component. And, you know, it, it does sort of have a hangul angulation going on here, but I think that's way better than a whole crack in your part. What you need to do next is just let this cool completely because you're sort of bending, like I said, you're bending the plastic over here and then you're melting these two pieces together. So you want it to cool uh, probably to about room temperature before you undo the clamp. The other thing that I've noticed with sort of the technique side of things is you want to go slow. So you don't want to heat it up until you start seeing it move because then you've probably heated it up too long and it's going to start sort of melting. What you want to do is sort of heat it up for a minute, tighten down the clamp a little bit, wait a second, see if anything changes. If nothing changes, heat it up again for a little bit, heat up the surrounding area, heat up the surrounding area, heat up the main spot until it starts to melt just a tiny bit. You won't see it, but you just sort of have to get a feel for it. Adjust the clamp some more, wait, see if anything changes, see where you need to heat it more or where you need to heat it less. Heat it up some more, clamp it some more, you know, just alternate those two things until you have it looking how you want it. So I think it's about cool now, so I'm gonna unclamp it. And you can see that it looks way better than that big crack that was there before. Might have to go down now and adjust these cracks 
let me do that real quick. <laughs> I feel like I'm casting a spell with the uh, heat gun. But you can see that's sealed up those. So, you know, any, any sort of breaking of your layers that you might have in your 3D prints, this is a really good technique. So anyway, don't want to make this video too long. Hopefully you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.